Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're noticing a Run as Administrator option is not appearing in the right click context menu on your Windows computer. So, this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Type in N E T P L W I Z. Best result should come back with exactly that. Go ahead and just right click on it and select run as administrator or if obviously if you can't do that perhaps you're able to do it here but not able to do it on your desktop you can just left click on it normally shouldn't matter either way and you want to go select your user account here and then select properties select group membership and you want to set it to administrator so make sure it's set to administrator there if it's a standard user you'll have to switch it over to administrator and once it's done you just would go ahead and select apply and OK and select OK again. You might need to restart your computer, but we're going to do one more thing before we do that, and that will be to open up the Start menu. You're going to type in CMD, best result, should come back with Command Prompt. I'm going to right click on that, and then I'm going to select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I'm going to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. It should all be one word that forward slash attached to the scan now part. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. It will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, you can see it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. I would suggest restarting your computer at this point. And then once your computer restarts after the options that we went through in this tutorial, hopefully your problem should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.